So I thought about doing something a little bit different today um, just because I am a little bored and yucky out and I also um, don't want to do any of the things that I should be doing that are adulting. So yeah, we're just going to do a little nerdy tour right now, which is going through my collection of pops. <laughs> um, if this is not something that interests you, um, sorry. See you in the next video, I guess. Um, if you are a nosy bitch like me who likes uh, seeing collections and things like that, okay. Um, here you go. Uh, all right. So to start off with, um, the first pop I ever received, and I know this is like one of their older ones, and I'm not really sure if this was like an official old one or if somehow my my friend managed to get a hold of like a custom job at one point, but um. I got this for my birthday several years ago. It is a pop of Dr. Hooves, who um, I think he actually technically has a different name in My Little Pony, um, but he has a time turner as his cutie mark, um, but most people think that he kind of looks like the doctor from Dr. Who, so um, yeah, that's this guy. Uh, the next pops I got, I actually bought myself, which is kind of what started this whole thing. Um, at first, I just saw these at Anime Boston, which is um, an uh, anime convention that takes place in the spring in Boston. Um, and I saw these and could not resist them because I am a super big fan of this uh, movie series and I thought that would be it I just contented my little little nerdy heart but um it was actually the beginning of collecting just stuff so um that was these two it's Doc and Marty from Back to the Future because I basically cannot resist anything that is related to Back to the Future at all after that my mother because I'm a big fan also of My Little Pony, or I was a few years ago. Uh, my mother found this glow-in-the-dark Fluttershy. Um, she actually doesn't glow in the dark that well. You can't really see it too too good. Um, but yeah, it's a little, little her. Uh, and then around the time of the 2016 election, um, they were selling pops of some of the candidates and I picked up a Bernie Sanders pop because I did. Um, he even has a little Bernie 2016 um, pin on, I don't know, I think it's cute. But then after that, so I don't really remember when I got these, but I think they were all roughly around the same time. And I'm pretty sure that I picked them up um, at FYE. So I first of all got Yui Metal, who is one of the members of uh, the, I don't know technically what you would call them there, Japanese band. It's three um, young girls who sing like cute-ish sounding songs set to like heavy doodle metal, metal music it's baby metal um yeah so this is one of the girls uh yeah and then i also around then picked up a darkwing duck pop because i cannot resist darkwing duck um i this was like one of my favorite shows when i was a kid i was obsessed and i actually dressed up as uh, Darkwing Duck for Anime Boston once, so, uh, yeah, loved it. Oh, picked up a pop of, 
uh, Ron Weasley holding scabbers at some point back then because I love Ron and uh, yeah maybe like two years or so I was at Michael's in the clearance section as you do and I found Tiana on clearance and I, I felt so bad I could not leave her there because she's awesome and I feel like I feel like the the princess and the frog was just kind of like an an underappreciated movie it's so good and it's so cute and the music is wonderful and yeah so I brought home Tiana then after that uh, I also got some pops from Hot Topic at various points so I managed to find the 11th Doctor with Fez as well as of course the 10th Doctor who is my favorite and uh, Captain Jack Harkness because duh at um at some point I also managed to find Haruhi um, who of course is a character from on high school host club if you are into um, anime at all as pretty popular series in the mid 2000s early 2000s mid to did I don't know I watched it in college um, but yeah so that is her and then again at the anime convention I found Dr. Ian e. Malcolm from uh, Jurassic Park around that same time I found Wendy and Danny Torrance from The Shining which is one of my favorite books and also a movie that I really love so those are very cute and I've been looking for Jack for a while and just barely managed to find him online uh, right around Halloween last year so I also have him and that kind of completes that series um, some of these you'll see I have like only like one and I'm perfectly okay with having like just one or two of like a group like I'm, I'm chill with that I get my favorites but I, I love this so I just I got all three of them I kind of wish they made a Dick Halloran one too but I don't think they did um and then this year because I cannot possibly be stopped apparently um I ended up um, I ended up pre-ordering one, two, three, five. I ended up pre-ordering five um, new pops that came out this year, and um, then I also recently uh, found one online. So uh, the ones I pre-ordered were of Stephen King because I just I had to. Um, and I also grabbed up a Van Gogh, who is like cute with his little palette and everything, and his hat's awesome. And then, because this was one of my absolute favorite, um, like, anime and, and manga that I read back in high school, I picked up the Inuyasha Pops that recently came out. So there is Inuyasha. And if you can see his like claws are like pointy and everything is cool um so there's inuyasha and kagome of course and seshomaru so that makes me really happy and then the last one that i got this year i think was the most recent of all of these um my one of my best friends is um super duper into bts um she is definitely a part of army um i am not i mean i enjoy their music but i'm not like um a super fan or anything i i just kind of enjoy it uh but i do have to say the b21 b2 b21 i'm pretty sure that's what they're called i'm so sorry it's not correct um their little uh, alter ego characters that they came up with are freaking adorable and I just cannot resist um, and one of the guys that I uh, 
I enjoy his voice the most. His alter ego is also one of the cutest. Um, so I picked up this little guy. He's a sleepy koala. He's so freaking cute. Um, but yeah, so that's basically, yeah. Hi everyone, it is Future Jen cutting in for just a moment to add that, um, that little, oh, I think his name is Kano, the koala pop, um, for RM. That was not the last one that I got this year. I also recently purchased, um, two more pops because I seriously have a problem. <laughs> and those pops are Jim Henson, complete with Kermit the Frog, and, um, also, Mr. Rogers, because I am a child of the 90s, or rather, that's been around since, like, what, the 70s, 60s, 70s? Okay, so I'm <laughs> I'm basically in a child in adult suit. So, um, yeah, I got these two dudes because they are two cool dudes who are sadly no longer around. Um, yeah. So I have a problem. All right, back to past Jen being awkward. That's that's one of my random collections of geeky things, I guess. Um, do any of you collect pops? Uh, if so, um, what's what's your favorite? Um, what do you what do you have? Do you have any of the ones that I have as well? Um, let me know down in the comments, I guess, and. Uh, I don't know if you guys end up showing off your pops let let me know and tell me about your videos or or whatever um yeah okay i'm going back to procrastinating adulting again so um have a good night everybody